In this lesson, we'll be going over how to spot a suspicious email. So I received this email from Apple a few days ago asking me to verify my account or it will be permanently locked. So the first thing I always look at is the, the title of the email. So this one says re alert verify your Apple ID account billing information. Um, it just doesn't look right. Uh, and then there's some fictitious reference numbers afterwards. So that's the first red flag. So you notice my email security has flagged it as a phishing scam and it actually sent it straight to the junk folder. So that's good. It says it's from Apple ID. Uh, but if you look at the actual email address that it was sent from, it said it's from postmaster underscore web app dot 38. And there's some random letters and numbers. The thing you have to look out for is after the at sign, it should also always say the sender's correct email address, i.e. apple.com or ebay.com after the at sign. So that is incorrect. They've just spoofed Apple ID on their email address, that's all. This is the urgent call to action where you have to do something quickly. So in here, we'll have a look at it in more detail and just go through what I normally look at to spot a fake email. Apple ID has been locked. So that's the first mistake. That If that was genuine, that should not be a capital L. For security reasons, yeah, fair enough. Then it's got the date, Friday, March 20, 2020. Oh, that format of the date doesn't look quite right. There should be actually another comma in there, perhaps. Um, they've put an extra space after the, the date. Um, that should be a lowercase t. Uh, okay, now we should look at this other bit. You can access your account and any Apple services. Yep, yeah, fair enough. Before, okay, that should be a lowercase b, completing verification, and you have to complete verification, completing verification before 12 hours or your account will be permanently locked. Well, that just doesn't sound correct. It doesn't read very well, and Apple would never send anything like that. This is the, the button you press that will take you to a fake Apple website. You'll be asked to enter your username and password and some other personal details a hacker can use to um, compromise your account. So if you hover over this link, um, in normally in your bottom left hand corner of your web browser, you'll be able to see the destination address that where it's going to take you to. In this case, it's got an IP address and then forward slash and some random letters and numbers. If that was genuine, it will be going to apple.com forward slash support possibly or forward slash account. In the email footer, it's got Apple ID, support, privacy policy. In a genuine email, these will be clickable links so you could actually go and view the documents. These aren't links. So if you hover over your uh, the button, the cursor turns into a little hand. It doesn't turn a hand over these. So these are uh, just copied off a genuine email, but they're not clickable links like they should be. And that's how you spot a suspicious email.